So we have already learned how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, factor some, I mean, we have not learned how to divide, and factor some polynomials. Today we're going to learn how to divide polynomials, okay, and we're going to do this using long division. And we do polynomial long division pretty much the same way that we do regular long division, but I find that polynomial long division is easier because instead of having to look at the whole number that is underneath the division symbol, I only have to look at the first term. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to turn a polynomial divided by a polynomial, I used n for numerator, d for denominator, into some polynomial, that's its quotient, plus the remainder divided by the original denominator. Okay, this is the same thing we do when we do long division. For example, 23 into 142, I do the long division. How many times does 23 go into 142? Okay, I know um, it goes in there six times, so I have six times three is 18. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Subtract, and I get 4. Um, that's a 13, 4. So I have 6 plus 4, 20 thirds. So that's the type of answer we're going to be come up, coming up with. But instead of having integers, we are going to end up with polynomials. So first example. 3x to the 4th minus 5x cubed plus 4x minus 6. When you're doing polynomial long division, you must put placeholders in the this part right here for any missing powers of x. Okay? And I'm going to divide that by x squared minus 3x plus 5. So, first note I'm going to put off to the side. Placeholders for missing x terms. Okay, I was missing the x squared term in my original problem, so I have to put a placeholder there. Then we're going to use the regular division algorithm. Dead monkey smell bad. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And we're going to do this with first term over first term. That's the divide step. Okay? So off to the side, I take the first term, 3x to the fourth, divided by this first term, x squared. So that gives me 3x to the fourth over x squared is x squared. You put this answer over the corresponding column where it belongs. So this would go over the 3x squared column. Okay, and we're going to keep doing the pattern until we get all the way over to here, and then anything I have left over is going to be my remainder. So now I multiply. So I take this 3x squared times this. Okay, so 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth. 3x squared times negative 3x is negative 9x cubed. 3x squared times 5 is 15x squared. Then I'm going to subtract. So for my subtraction step, you always want to put parentheses and then subtract. So I'm going to put parentheses around these and then put a subtraction symbol and make sure I do not mess this up. 
3 minus 3, 0. I'm good. Negative 5 minus a minus 9 is negative 5 plus 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then copy the power of x. 0 minus 15 is negative 15. Then I bring down the rest of my polynomial. 4x minus 6. Then I'm going to repeat the division step. This time I am going to do 4x cubed divided by x squared. And that's 4x. That 4x goes above the x terms here. Then I multiply. I take that 4x times what I'm dividing by. 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. 4x times negative 3x is negative 12x squared. 4x times 5 is 20x. Then I subtract, which means I put parentheses around that polynomial with a subtraction symbol to make sure I get it right. 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 15 minus a minus is negative 15 plus 12, which would be negative 3. Copy the x squared. 4 minus 20 is negative 16x. Bring down the next last term. And we start all over again. Now I have negative 3x squared over x squared, leading term over leading term, which is negative 3. I take that negative 3 and I put it over the constant column. Then I multiply. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 3x is positive 9x. Negative 3 times 5 is minus 15. Then I subtract, which means I put parentheses and a minus sign. Any number minus itself is 0. Negative 16 minus 9 is negative 25x. Negative 6 minus a minus 15 is negative 6 plus 15, which is 9. That is my remainder. Always put a plus sign. And then put the remainder as written up here. Over your original divisor. x squared minus 3x. plus 5. Okay, if you do this right, all your x squared should line up, all your x cubed should line up, all your x's should line up. Now, if you get a remainder of 0, okay, that means that this polynomial is evenly divisible by this, okay, just like in regular division. Okay, this does take some paper that it is perhaps tedious, but none of the work here is hard, okay? You are dividing a monomial by a monomial that usually has a common factor in there. You are doing a monomial times some sort of polynomial, which is the easiest form of polynomial multiplication. The hardest part where students make a mess is the subtraction step, and that's because they forget to put parentheses and forget to subtract every term um, when they do the subtraction. They usually subtract the first one and then they do some addition or something like that. So the work may be tedious, but it is not necessarily hard. So I'm going to do um, two more examples, and then that will be it for my examples of the polynomial long division. Next example, x to the fourth plus x cubed 
plus x, so I have 0x squared, plus x minus 1, divided by x squared plus 2x plus 1. So I needed to put a placeholder in here. So leading term over leading term, x to the fourth over x squared is x squared. That goes over the x squared column. Now I multiply. Okay, typically I do not need to see any, I need to see this side work. But I don't need you to write x squared times this and then write the answer down. What I expect you to be able to do is take this number here, the x squared, and multiply it by the polynomial without rewriting it. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. Subtraction, put parentheses and the subtraction symbol. Any number minus itself is 0. 1 minus 2 is negative 1x cubed. 0 minus 1 is negative 1x squared. Bring down the rest, plus x minus 1. Then I do leading term, negative x cubed, over leading term, x squared, which is negative x. Copy the negative x and put it above the x column. Multiply negative x times negative x uh, times x squared is negative x cubed. Negative x times 2x is negative 2x squared. Negative x times 1 is negative x. Put parentheses around it, then subtract. Any number minus itself is 0. Negative 1 minus a minus 2 is negative 1 plus 2, which is 1, x squared. 1 minus a minus 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 0. Make sure to write that 0x, and then bring down the next term. Last one, I know it's the last one because I'm over my constant column, is x squared over x squared, which is 1. 1 times anything is that anything, so I get x squared plus 2x plus 1. Parentheses around it and subtract. Any number minus itself is 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2x, and negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Okay, that is my remainder. Always, always, always put a plus sign here. And then put negative 2x minus 2 over the original divisor. x squared plus 2x plus 1. I do understand you can pull a negative out of both of the top terms and bring it out front. But the form of after polynomial division is always plus the remainder over the divisor. So there's my second example. Okay, again, make sure you put placeholders in there. And what I just showed you on the board is the amount of work I need to see for any one of these long division problems. First one, I, I showed more work. This one is the amount of work is the minimum I need to see for polynomial long division. Our last one for examples here. Is x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 10. Notice here I've got cubes, squares, x's, and constants, so no fill in the blanks. I'm going to divide it by x plus 2. So leading term over leading term is x cubed over x. That's x squared. Put it over the x squared column. And multiply. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. 
parentheses and subtract. Any number minus itself is 0. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 x squared. Bring down the rest. Leading term over leading term. Negative 3x squared over x is equal to negative 3x. Put it over the x column. Multiply. Negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 2 is negative 6x. Parentheses and subtract. Any number minus itself is 0. 4 minus a minus 6 is 4 plus 6, which is 10 of those x's minus 10. Leading term over leading term. 10x over x is 10. Put it over the constant column. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 2 is 20. Parentheses and subtract. Any number minus itself is 0. Negative 10 minus 20 is negative 30. So I'd get that polynomial plus a negative 30 over the original binomial I was dividing by. So those are my three examples for polynomial long division. Um, again, you use the exact same algorithm you did for regular long division. I find it's easier because I don't need to know what multiples of things are, like the example problem I did with the long division. Um, I cheated and used the calculator to figure out what the integer portion of the answer was. I don't need to do that. I can do the very simple monomial over monomial division. Where students mess up is the parentheses and subtraction. Please don't mess up on there. And again, practice. Practice actually helps you out quite a bit in doing this. Um, as you get into the later sections of Algebra 2 and in College Algebra and Calculus, there is a reason for us wanting to do this is because we want to be able to look at the end behavior of a graph. And the end behavior of a graph is usually just this polynomial portion and, and doesn't have anything to do with the remainder. In other um, video lectures, we're going to learn another way to do division. Um, and that's only if I can divide by a binomial or a linear term um, that will help you come up with some other ways that division will help you out in these.